Good afternoon, my fellow scientists. It is Saturday, February 10th, 2018, and I want to give you the weekly update on the all-iron battery. For those of you who are new here, I have been making an all-iron battery for the last year. I have been exploring different chemistries, different cathodes, and different separators in an attempt to make a battery that has an iron anode and some form of iron, iron-3 salt of chloride, sulfate, EDTA, something that can accept electrons from the iron oxidation at the anode. And so far, we have had some success. We've developed a agar separator. We've tried a nafion separator. We've made batteries. They've worked reasonably well. And the best performer so far has been agar separator, iron metal anode, and iron sulfate cathode. The problem with iron sulfate is that you just can't get very much into water. It is not very soluble, so I'm at saturating conditions and the energy density is still something like one two hundredth of a commercial like uh, lithium ion battery. The key metric for iron batteries is the price per watt hour, so the price performance ratio as opposed to weight performance ratio, but even at that we'd like to get it a little higher than, than the iron density we have in that iron sulfate cathode at present. Iron EDTA is a nice option. It's extremely soluble, hundreds of times more soluble than the iron sulfate, but it aggressively eats the iron metal anode. <laughs> and when I tried putting iron EDTA into the catholite with an agar separator within one cycle of the battery, EDTA was everywhere and it ate the anode and the battery performance went to the toilet. So. You can see that it's still a battery. If you look at the, that curve after one cycle, it's still charging and discharging, but the performance went from storing you know, 10 milliamp hours to storing less than one milliamp hour, and that's just not acceptable. The way I'd like to solve this is by replacing the inexpensive agar separator with a higher performance separator. Now, that comes at a cost, but we'll try to get that down if it works. I went back to the Nafion separator, but other than that, I kept the chemistry the same. So I have an iron with sulfate around it as the anode, and then I have an iron EDTA cathode. And the question is, can we keep that EDTA from getting across the membrane and attacking the iron metal? And as of yet, it looks like maybe what was a rapid decomposition is holding steady at a fairly decent level of uh, performance. I'll keep cycling the new cell, the Nafion hybrid sulfate EDTA cell until next week, and I will update you on that. I'm still working on trying to find an undergraduate who would like to work on this this summer, but until I find one, I will keep persevering on my own. If you like that kind of thing, tune in every week. We talk about the incremental improvements we're making to the all-iron battery every week right here in the Allen Lab.